Today we're going to learn how to make udon from scratch like this. Wow. Before? No. no. It doesn't even look like a noodle yet. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be udon. That's a monster. How was it? It's amazing. Welcome to Ryan's World. Hi. 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 Let's make udon. Yeah. Do you guys like udon? Yeah. All right, we're gonna make it from scratch for the first time. First, before you touch anything, you gotta put an apron and then put gloves, okay? <laughs> yeah, I can't have long fingers. Oh yeah, I did look a lot today. It's a super simple recipe. All you need is flour, salt, and water. In the bowl here, we have our flour. According to the recipe, we need 500 grams. Feel how heavy that is? Weighs about the same as a chinchilla, huh? Now, we're gonna add the water to the flour. You might think we just dump it in, but nope. There's actually a very special way to do it. There are three steps to make sure the water and flour gets blended just right. Let's try it. That's good. First, make a hand like this, like a cat's claw. Then, use your claw to stir the water and the flour together. Meow! You'll know it's mixed well when it makes little balls, like this. Go ahead and pour the rest of the water in. Splish splash! Oh my god! We did a lot more. Yeah. So, it should look like that, right? Okay. So we mix it. Okay. Yeah. This next part is fun. You squish the mixture down like this. Pretend your hand is a steamroller. Squish! Pushing down some concrete. That's a sticky part you want to just mix it with the powder. And for the last step, we're gonna knead the dough. This is what we got. It's kind of stretchy. Stretchy, it's like play dough. It doesn't even look like a noodle yet. It looks right? like play. Yeah. How are we gonna make this into noodle? Kneading is where we push and squeeze dough until it starts looking shiny. Alright, there you go. That's right. Good job. Normally what we do next is cover up the dough with plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for one to two hours. Okay, now we're gonna stretch our dough on this board, but not yet. Sprinkle a little bit of this powder onto the board. This powder will keep our dough from sticking to the wood and making a huge mess that I'll have to clean up later. You can use the powder in your hands to rub it on the stick too. Okay, now that everything's, go ahead and plop your ball of dough right in the middle of the board. Okay, okay. Let Ryan try first, yeah. Thank you. The time has come for me to show you my super special technique for rolling dough. Hold the stick like this, like you're doing a pull-up. Place your thumbs against the stick here and here. Very good. Now, holding it like that, press it into the ball of dough. Rather than just rolling it, we kind of push, push, push our way across until the ball has turned into a flat pancake. If you do it really well, then it's gonna turn into more square shape or rectangular shape. And then turn around again, do it again. No rolling, right? I'm just pressing down. All right, there you go. Got it. It's getting bigger. Nice. All right. Nice. You're doing great. Keep working the dough. Sprinkle a little bit of this powder. Hold your stick with crunchy little caterpillar fingers, like this. And now, use those little caterpillars to roll, roll, roll your way across the dough. Press and roll, press and roll. Fun, right? Soon, you'll be doing it in your sleep. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Wow, that stretched so much. Good job, Kay. Try to stretch it and make it as thin as possible. Okay? Remember, the more you roll the dough, the thinner it gets. Okay, so it all depends on how, what kind of udon you want to make. If you want to make thin udon, then you want to stretch out as much as possible and make it very thin. What kind of udon would you like to make, Ryan? Um, I don't know, maybe thick. Thick one? Okay, then maybe we should stop now. This is perfect. This is what we made so far. What do you guys think? 
How much you roll from here depends on how thick or thin you want your noodles to be. Okay, now we're gonna fold our dough into three parts. But before we do, you guessed it, sprinkle a little bit of this powder. And then I'm gonna fold one more side here. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to do that. All right, first, I fold up from the bottom. Then, fold down from the top. Next, grab your cutting board and sprinkle a little bit more powder on it. Go ahead and transfer your dough over to the cutting board. Bring that over here. What's this remind you of? Maybe a burrito? Mmm. The knife we're gonna use to cut our dough is very sharp. Kids, do not try this at home. Please ask an adult for help. So please be careful. You hold a knife just like this, facing away from you with a sturdy grip. Excellent. You look just like a professional noodle chef. Use this board here to hold the dough in place and give you a guide for cutting perfectly straight lines. That's how the pros do it. Cut and move, cut and move, just like this. Great work. <laughs> Good time, Ryan. Now he's gonna boil it and then cook it. Ooh, I'll take it to try and see how it comes out. Yay! Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Good job, All right, guys, we're sitting down now to enjoy trying our noodles. All right, you guys got it? Can you help? I can help you. Can you tell me? Look how big. <laughs> It's the biggest I've ever seen. Can I have a little more, Daddy? Yeah, once you finish that, then you can have one. Alright, how is it? Mmm, so good. It's very thick. Look how thick cut this is. It's amazing. Mmm. 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 Alright, Ryan, Emma, how was it? It's amazing. Mm. I can't believe we made this all by ourselves. And... Mm. It's so delicious. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye.